Hello and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you have been here before. I'm Rachel and today I am sharing some quick and easy game day snacks and beverages. They are perfect for if you're heading out to the ball field to watch the junior league or if you're just catching a game at home on TV. In this first recipe, I am trying out a super nonstick ceramic cookware set by Red Chef. Red Chef reached out to me a while back and asked me to do a review on their cookware set and they have been amazing. They were so patient and waiting for me to recover from having my foot surgery. And here I am just unboxing this set. In this small box is the handle, which is pretty um, heavy and well made. You can just tell by holding it that it's substantial, which I really liked. And then here is the lid that goes to the saucepan. And then this set is um, very sturdy and durable feeling. The bottom is really thick, so I was happy about that. I was a little worried when I opened it and saw that it was a light color pan that it would get discolored on the bottom, but it hasn't. I have actually had this set for a while now, so I can give you a um, honest review on this and I would have to say that I really do like this set a lot and I do use it quite often and that handle does fit on every single piece in the set and it's very easy to put on and take off which I like and in the set there are two skillets um, a smaller one and a large one which was really nice and the handle fits on all three pieces you can take this cookware from your stovetop and put it right into your oven and then because the handle comes off you can reach right in there clip it onto the pan and then remove it from that hot oven without getting burned I like that this is a nice affordable set of ceramic cookware. I'm happy that because there are no handles that it will store nicely in my cabinets and also just with the performance overall. I'll make sure to leave a link in the description box in case you want to check them out for yourself. Now let's get to cooking. To start off, I am just cooking up some ground beef. Mine is frozen, so I'm doing the old scrape and flip method with this meat. And I am telling you, this um, cookware stood the test because I had my heat up a little high, but as you see, everything just kind of poured right out. So next time, just adding my sliced onions and jalapenos into the same pan because I don't like to dirty up too many dishes. <laughs> and so I'm just cooking those jalapenos and onions until they are nice and soft. Then I added some real bacon pieces as well as a block of cream cheese. And I'm just breaking that up until it is melted really good. And as you can see, the food just slides around in this pan. There's no sticking whatsoever, which made cleanup really easy. And here I am just showing you how that just slides right over and nothing was sticking at all and the next I just um, added some shredded up sharp cheddar cheese and just mixed it in this dip is super easy and always delicious it's just like the filling of a jalapeno popper with the pepper right in it then I just poured it into a glass dish for serving and as you can see once again everything is just coming out nice and clean um except for <laughs> I'm spilling it all over the place but that's my fault I always do that Here I'm just showing you that there are no discolorations from using that pan on high heat and I've had it for a couple of months now and there is still no discoloration and our dip is all ready for some football watching and snacking. 
This dip is one of our family favorites and because it's loaded with so much meat and cheese and veggies, it is pretty much a meal in itself. We usually just eat it with some corn chips. Next it's time for cleanup and this pan was a cinch to clean. I think I could have gotten away with just using a paper towel and wiping it out but I just used a little bit of detergent and some warm water and that was all it took to get it spick and span clean. Are you looking for a really quick and easy game day fall snack? Um, I have one for you. Super easy and super tasty if you like candy corn and peanuts. This is the one for you. Anyway, I am just using a brown paper bag like you would pack your lunch in. I'm just going to fold the top over a few times. To make a nice little snack container and I'm going to use equal parts candy corn and peanuts I'm just gonna pull those right in give it all a shake 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 I'm going to fold it down one more time using the salted dry roasted peanuts that's just the Meyer brand um, just mixing them all up in there I like that sweet and salty a lot so I'm going to grab a couple of little peanuts and a candy corn that tastes delicious to me tastes like a payday candy bar which is one of my favorite candy bars. This is definitely one that won't break the bank. I believe these bags only cost $1.80 and then a couple of bucks for the peanuts and the candy corn. I've got my last little baggie here all ready to go. I'm just gonna put the last bit of my peanuts in there. So this, oh, I'm a little short on candy corn for that one, but that's all right. You know what, we'll just steal a few from everybody else. Don't those just look fun? Um, if you're having a party, you can just set these out and about, but if you're like me, just take one and run. I've been seeing a lot of people make this recipe in the crock pot this season but you can also make it right in a saucepan like I'm doing today. And that's because I need it in a hurry. So all I'm doing is putting my canned pumpkin, it's 100% pure pumpkin. You don't wanna use the pumpkin pie filling, you wanna use real pumpkin. And this is the 15 ounce can. So I'm getting that into my warmed up saucepan. And then next I'm going to add a can of sweetened condensed milk. That's the sweet stuff. Like this sticky stuff, not evaporated milk. So I'm going to add a whole can of that. My only concern here is that I hope I have a big enough pan. We shall find out. I'm just going to mix that all together. 
I will share a recipe for this because I'm just going to clue you in. You know how I do things. I look at a picture and then I just kind of do my own thing. But if you want to follow a recipe, there will be one available for you in my description box. But I'll show you how I do it too. All right, that looks good to me. All right, here's the moment of truth. Let's see if we have enough room in this pan. I need to add four cups of milk. And guess who doesn't have four cups of milk? I had two cups. So we are doing two cups of milk and two cups of half and half. And I just have the heat on my stove turned way down low. And I don't believe that the recipe I looked at called for pumpkin pie spice, but I'm adding it to mine. When I go out to a football game, I want to be warmed up and I want all those good pumpkin-y flavors to be in my drink of choice. So we're just stirring that around here. The next ingredient that I'm adding are white chocolate chips. And the recipe said a cup and a quarter, so I'm going to do about that many. <laughs> it's about a half a bag. All that's left to do now is just simmer and stir, and then we will drink up. Okay, I'm doing a taste test and see how it is as far as temperature and flavor. Mm-hmm. That is so good. My only advice is if you're doing it on the stove top, just make sure you don't have it turned up too high. You do not want to scald your milk. But this is perfect. Just for you all, I'm going to have one here at home and take one for the road. I'm just going to put a little bit of whipped cream on top because you just have to. I want to be a little fancy. I'm just going to put a little bit of cinnamon on top of that. I don't know about you, but I always like to have a hot drink whenever I'm doing an outdoorsy type of uh, fall activity. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah. This is better than pie. I'll see you guys. I got to get out of here. See you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>